as we're looking to build out the infrastructure, Jeff, I think there's a couple opportunities. If we look at where people gravitate and where they kind of spend time and we optimize chargers at those locations, I think that's a huge opportunity. You take a look at tourist attractions, take a look at um, different areas. Um, you know, the Native American tribes have a lot of casinos. And, you know, you may, you may think Native American lands aren't going to be converting to electric vehicles, and they may not, but they're going to be serving customers that do. And so if you think about where those casino type locations or those tourist attractions are, and you put in some charging hubs that kind of become a central charging component for a neighborhood community, then you can build out from there. Um, and once people start seeing this charging available, their interest in electric vehicle may increase. And I think, you know, you and I have chatted about this before. A customer is not a first mover, I'm not a dedicated electric vehicle customer. They're going to want to know before they buy a vehicle, where am I going to be able to charge? And those chargers kind of need to be in their face like, like fuel price signs. So they know where they are before they even think about buying an EV charger. And I think if we start capitalizing on these destination locations and amplify the charging capabilities there, I think that that's going to send a huge signal to the market. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the struggle is getting getting the high powered infrastructure out to those locations if it's not already there. I mean, the casino is a great example because chances are, you know, they've got they've got some of the necessary you know power you know available. Uh, and there's other examples too. Um, you know, another really good example that's just the opposite because there's there's not a lot of infrastructure would be a state park somewhere where somebody was going to go and they want to they want to park and spend the day there or a couple of hours there you know granted you know that's again these are scenarios where we're not talking about a huge investment of dc you know fast charging systems we're talking level two chargers you know because people are going to be there probably for a couple of hours um and you know you could have some 50 kilowatt fast chargers you know again but the price on those is much much less for them than 150 or 350. um so you know sizing it to those to those destination charging locations um i think you can save a lot of money you can you can start to spur interest like you said john you know this is where you're going to start you know you've probably got an industry that that probably has some some money available they probably have access to grant dollars and, and, and other you know forms of, of of cash for capex and and then you can start to build out from there and the community now around starts to see this and um you know i think it's i think it's a great opportunity now how quickly that community will you know get into buying electric vehicles um i i, I don't know but you know i think uh I, I think it makes good sense. 